Hello you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm getting ready for the day, just doing my like everyday makeup look that I've been loving recently. So I thought I would share with y'all my um, updated little routine and share with you guys some of my favorite products that I haven't shared with y'all yet because there's some really good ones, including this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I'm sure everyone knows by now because of TikTok, but it just gives the most beautiful glow under your makeup and I've been loving it. I'm in the shade three. I also thought that I could do a little update on what's in my wardrobe for summer in case any of you guys are looking for some summer pieces. I could also do a little catch up while I get ready. We are getting ready to go to Florida next week. We're going with Omar's family. So it's so nice. We usually do a annual trip for my family and then Omar's family started doing that as well. Last year we went to Cancun and this year we're going to Destin, which I haven't gone to Destin for Florida since I was like probably 12 so I'm excited to go back the beaches there are so beautiful oh, wait why am I going in with concealer first I feel like when I'm vlogging I like forget what I'm doing this is the it cosmetics CC glow nude glow this is their version of their tinted moisturizer but their other one that's like the CC cream is like full coverage this one is more like light to medium coverage it's definitely more light so if you guys like the it cosmetic CC cream but you want something lighter for summer this is it it is so so beautiful and I just get my same shade that I get in the CC cream which is fair light Okay, and that's the finish of the skin with the flawless filter and the nude glow isn't that so good and it's so lightweight for summer i'm just loving it and the nude glow has spf 40. i'm almost out of my kosas concealer but i like this one because it just looks really natural and it's not too full coverage since the skin is pretty lightweight um putting a full coverage concealer with this kind of looks weird so that's why i like adding this one i am blending in the milk makeup bronzer stick my favorite in the color baked so let's do a little life update catch up just to let you guys know what is going on right now in our lives even though there's really not much to share. I mean right now we're just waiting on our house so we're over there every single day. They are framing which is so exciting. They're pretty much almost done with it so you can really see what the house looks like. You can walk through all the rooms like there's going to be a huge update in the next house series video. I feel like right now we're kind of in that in-between phase in our life, if that makes any sense. We are not really like new, new parents anymore, even though, I mean, she's a toddler, so we're still new, but it's not like that like pregnancy newborn phase anymore. And we're sitting here like waiting for the house to be done. And we're also waiting to see when we wanna have our next baby. So we're just kind of chilling right now, honestly, which is honestly nice because we feel like we have a little bit more of a grasp on parenting since it's not in survival mode all the time anymore. There's just like a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of like planning right now. There's so many things coming and they just haven't happened yet. One being the house and then second of all, I'm honestly working on a couple of projects that I'm so excited about. One of them I think I'm gonna get to announce in maybe the next video or maybe the one after that but I am designing a collection with a brand that I'm gonna be bringing to you guys end of August. So I'm so, so excited, inshallah. I hope you guys love it. I just had to mention that because I'm just so excited, but I should be able to announce this in the next couple videos. You guys, this product has been a game changer in my routine. This is the Peach Gasm Glow Gasm Beauty Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. It is so beautiful. I've just kind of replaced my blush and highlight with this and it's so pretty. So you guys will see what it looks like. It just gives like a dewy lit from within glow to your cheeks. It's so like soft and like a peachy warm glow it's so pretty i still have to do a little highlight on the tip of my nose like i don't know why i cannot stop doing that it just doesn't feel like my makeup is complete if i don't highlight the tip of my nose let me know if you guys are the same now i'm going in with the air brow by kosas this is a clear brow gel that i think i might have shared with you guys before but i just have to reiterate how good it is if you guys are looking for a new clear brow gel like they even have tinted but my eyebrows are already dark so i just feel like i don't want to make them darker it is so good it literally makes them look laminated and this brush is so tiny and just 
so perfect it has been so miserably hot here you guys we literally were thinking about just going somewhere to escape the heat and it's only june like i just don't remember it being this miserable so early on in the summer omar was like do you want to book a flight to the mountains <laughs> and i'm like maybe because it's just so hot it's kind of like seasonal depression for me like in the winter how people get depressed whenever it's like rainy and gloomy and all of that well i've been feeling that this summer because it's been so hot and i just feel like we can't get out and do anything even though it's beautiful outside it's just so miserably hot and i know there are people who live in hotter climates and are probably thinking like oh my gosh lena but i mean 100 what's the difference between 103 degrees and 110 degrees it's all hot. I just realized I forgot to set my concealer. This is what I get for talking while I'm doing my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eyes. This is the Say Beauty powder, and I like this one because it's clean. A lot of translucent powders have things that are not so good for you, like talc and things like that, but I like this brand. That's pretty much everything that I put on my skin and my eyes. Just gonna go in with some mascara and I haven't changed this one up. If you guys have any like mascara favorites, you guys know I love the telescopic, but if you have any other recommendations, leave them below. I like lengthening ones. I don't really like the volumizing ones because they tend to look too clumpy on me. Also, if anyone's wondering, this hijab is Vela. I absolutely love it. I can link it down below for you guys, but I've gotten a lot of questions about it when I've worn it on my Instagram recently. For lips, I have been going a little bit old school and using MAC Spice Lip Liner and then Honey Love Lipstick by MAC. And then going over that with the Kosas Lip Oil. This is in the shade Jellyfish. Jellyfish. <laughs> that is the finished look. It is so lightweight and perfect for this heat. And I love how the skin is just like so super dewy and glowy while being like lightweight and not feel like I feel like I don't have anything on my skin which is what I love so I will have all the products that I used linked down below I think I'm going to try to do this try on now honestly because Omar is watching Elena he brought her to a little land so I could film while he was gone and usually my mom actually watches Elena on Fridays but unfortunately my mom and my dad both have COVID so thankfully they are fine alhamdulillah but my dad was the one who got sick after my mom and he just stopped having a fever yesterday so he's fever free today so in a couple more days we can see them but we haven't seen my parents in like a week <laughs> which is so sad we usually see them almost every single day this is the first dress that i ordered from twice boutique and sizing was limited even whenever, whenever I ordered it, so I hope that it's still available. I got a size up because they didn't have my regular size, but I still feel like it fits me really well. I got this because we are going to Florida with Omar's family. We're going to Destin, and I just needed some cute summery dresses, and I thought this would be pretty. Just to kind of wear, like, year after year, honestly, it's so classic. These Plissé sets are so on trend right now. If you're looking for one that's affordable, I found this one on Amazon. Amazon. The length of the top is really good. It covers the bottom. It's so modest. The only thing is it's not lined, but I, anytime I've found a plissé set, none of them are lined. I feel like the material in this one is pretty good. I feel like I cannot see my skin, but if you are worried about it, maybe get one of the other colors. I did get black, so I'll show you that one as well. This one I'm just wearing like a white tank top and I think I'm gonna bring this one with me to Florida as well. Okay, I turned the brightness up so you could see the detail a little bit better, but here it is in black, and I just think it is so chic. This would honestly be a great airport outfit as well. I just have on a black tank top, not see-through at all, and I know some people think that these sets look like pajamas, but this is what's in style right now, you guys, and it's modest, so I am taking full advantage. It's so comfy, too. Another black piece. But this one is linen, so it's great for summer. I also wore it in the green, which I'll put on screen. Um, I wore that to Austin to that Amazon event. It's from Pretty Lavish, and it is so chic. I just love how it has this wrap detail with the tie on the side. And I'm just literally wearing it as a tunic, even though it's a mini dress. So I paired it with these cream jeans from Old Navy, which I think are perfect for wearing with tunics and like mini dresses in the summer. I have on my Amazon sandals that I love. 
and I just think this is such a chic look. Something else that's new in my wardrobe are these linen shirts that I've been wearing honestly every probably like three or four times a week at least. I've been getting so much use out of them. They're from H&M but I believe they're sold out so I will link as many similar ones as I can find. I honestly got this one in a large so that it was oversized so the men's section may be a good option for these and I saw that they were in stock yesterday so I will link those plus an Amazon one that I know is a good option. So these linen shirts are like a must have for the summer. That's why I wanted to share, even though this exact one is sold out. I also wanted to just give you guys an inspo for this outfit. These are just some white trousers that I recently got, but I might honestly be sending them back because they're not lined and I think the back is pretty sheer. But this is just inspo for a really cute, like effortless summer look. You guys know I've been trying to add more colors that I don't normally wear to my wardrobe. Found this one on ASOS so I hope it's still available but I'm thinking about bringing this one with me to Florida. I thought it would be a really good like beach vacation dress. I just realized too that all the other outfits I shared with, were within the same color family like black, beige, nude. <laughs> so this will be a good pop of color even though it's still Soft. These sandals are also new in my wardrobe as well. They're from Vince Camuto. Aren't they so cute? These little mules. I love them. Hello you guys. It is the next day. I forgot to end this vlog yesterday, but we are actually on our way to Dallas today. It's Saturday and we just decided we needed to get out of town and like just change scenery basically. And I'm wearing the makeup look that I did yesterday and it's just so lightweight and I'm just loving these products so much because it doesn't feel like I'm wearing like heavy makeup which is just a no in this heat it is well it's saying 98 on our dash right now but it is hotter than that don't you think oh yeah it's, <laughs> it's like hot. 103 today or something hope you guys are staying cool also wearing that linen black mini dress that I showed you guys yesterday too I'll have everything that I mentioned linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye